Young, um, Quinn Nguyen with the Center on Policy Initiatives. Um, I was here seven years ago um, for the passage of the Living Wage Ordinance, and I'm happy to see that um, it has succeeded in stopping the unfair and illegal behavior of a contractor, in this case, Mr. Kruger. Um, the Living Wage Ordinance was widely popular then, as it is still now, um, because people believe that our city should not contribute, contribute to poverty, and specifically that um, our tax dollars shouldn't support poverty jobs. Contractors who exploit workers and defraud taxpayers have no business getting city business. They do not deserve contracts paid for with our tax dollars. The City um, Living Wage Enforcement Office um, did a great job in this case, finding violations and following, following up um, to make sure that the crimes stopped. Um, Nora Nugent and all the city staff who worked on this case ought to be commended for their diligence. Um, seven years ago, I personally spoke with people who worked for Mr. Kruger um, and heard from them about their working conditions and their compensation or, or lack thereof. Um, and many of those workers will never get back what they were owed. But it's um, at least um, this contractor has been debarred, and I think that that should be um, a permanent debarment. Um, it's wonderful that we have a living wage ordinance now, um, but enforcement of the living wage ordinance is as necessary as in, and important as ever. Um, and we look forward to the next annual report about the living wage program so we can see how it's going. Um, and we look forward to working with the city, as always, to improve low-wage jobs in San Diego. Thank you.